Hey everyone, Dr. Matt Parker, physical therapist here at Parker Physio. And today we're going to talk about a movement that it seems simple, but it's one that I see get botched all the time, and it's the squat. Okay? So there's many intricacies to the squat, and you can kind of get into nitty gritty details on proper form technique. I'm here to talk about kind of the big picture stuff. Okay? So as far as the squat goes, we want to make sure a couple of things. One, that we have a good setup. Two, that we have a nice abdominal brace. And then three, that we're getting a nice, good hip hinge, okay? So one, the setup. So if you look at my feet below, you may see a wire for the microphone, but we're gonna ignore that for now, all right? Our feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider than shoulder width. I like toes straight ahead or even a little bit turned out like so, all right? You're not out like a duck like this, all right? We just wanna have them slightly turned out, all right? Next, nice tummy brace. And if you watch my abdominal brace video, you can kind of find that. And we wanted to get a nice activation here because if most of the time we're doing a squat, we're doing something like lifting things up off the ground, like a laundry basket or deadlifting 300 pounds. Same thing. We want to be able to activate these tummy muscles properly to help protect that low back. Okay. So we have our tummy brace, got our nice setup here. And now the, key, the coup de gras here, the key point is the hip hinge. All right. So I think the hip hinge is best seen in the side view here. I still have my feet shoulder width apart. And the first movement you want to do is you want this butt to go backwards. All right, so as opposed to doing this, which I see all the time, the first movement that occurs is boom, butt back, boom, butt back. And what we call this is the hip hinge, okay? So this is important. If you do want to squat eventually with some weight, you want to start deadlifting, this is important in order to master this movement here. Whenever you're picking up the laundry basket, you're picking up your child, you want to make sure, boom, hips are back, nice hip hinge, just like so, all right? Next, you also wanna be wary of your knees and, and where it's located, all right? So many times I'll see one of these and the knees wanna collapse in. We need to battle this, this is no good for the knees, all right? So we wanna activate these, these butt muscles, our hips go back, and we wanna kind of spread our knees out and keep them in line with our toes. Or uh, if it helps you remember it a little bit better, inside your shoes, it's gonna be like you're trying to split the floor apart, okay? So I'm trying to split the floor apart, keeping my knees out. Again, tummy brace, butt back, and butt back, okay? Nice, good knee alignment, all right? Boom, butt back, butt back, just like that. That's a squat, so make sure you practice that, master that movement before you start picking up any kind of weights or dumbbells. You wanna make sure you have that down automatic, all right? And if you have any questions, as always, please leave a comment. Have a good one. Bye.